Hello and welcome to yet another day in the life of JRS Vlog. It is about 4.38 p.m. right now. I'm headed over to my grandparents' house to write the thank you cards for the stuff I got from the graduation party last Sunday. That needs to get done before tomorrow. It's been a pretty busy day today. I worked on the car for a couple hours. I'll show you what it got later. Um, except there's a problem with it because everything that I try to do naturally has some sort of a problem. So uh, I'm going to have to contact Turner and work with them and see if we can figure it out, but shit happens. It is another perfect day. It is 85 degrees. I wish I were at the pool. 85 degrees and sunny, just gorgeous. Not a cloud up there. But I've been working around the house all day. I still have more to do. After I get the graduation thank yous done, I've got to do the... Um, let me think. Graduation thank yous, dinner, and then I have to go home and mow, and I've got some other work to do tonight. Whatever. We're making progress, and we got Michael Buble on. Yeah, listen to that. Freaking perfect. Perfect day. There's people over there in the movie theater. What is up with that? You don't go to a movie when it's like this. Don't ask. Well, I don't think they'd say drop dead after you give them a ride, but <laughs> but still, I can imagine something better. Yeah. 7.58, back from dinner. Dinner was actually really good. Saw some cool cars drive by, and I'm looking for my glasses. I just found them. They were in the bathroom. Guess I went in there and left them there. Anyways, I uh, wanted to get the yard done today, and that has not got done yet. So, I'm thinking uh, it's 8 o'clock. I've got an hour of daylight left. I don't even think I'm going to trim. It's just kind of high in the back back here and since I watered all day yesterday as you can see I still have a sprinkler here so I'm probably going to water more tomorrow. Uh, it just needs to be cut but as I said yesterday twice uh, those two are done. I don't know if I'm going to do that tomorrow or not. Uh, so I'll do this, make this look nice and uh, that'll be the end of the productivity part of today. But last night I finally got the watch later playlist down to zero. So today there's probably another 15 in there that I'll do tonight and check this out. There's what the car got today. Leave a comment right now if you notice, because I'm about to tell you. If you already know, tell me. Also got the new rotors today, which are here. These are the OEM rotors, so I guess they use centric parts, which uh, which is what, uh, which is StopTech, StopTech technology. But they're like 30 pounds a piece. They're not slotted. They're not vented. Did some more research on that. Slotted rotors, kind of back in the day when you had pads that would create a gas film that would build up on top of the surface of the rotor and then not then that would cause non-optimal braking. Nowadays slotted rotors are really just for looks. Um, they don't really don't do much in terms of performance. Now vented rotors with or drilled rotors, those are for like hardcore track cars. If you're gonna go out all day and thrash the thing coming from 140 down to 60 to go through corners, that's really just gonna help with heat. Uh, in a car like an M5 that is driven around town, it's not driven hard, um, it doesn't need that. So I think I got the best rotors I could get for this car and my style of driving. Anyways, I told you I'd tell you, these are the facelift Hella lights from Germany for this car that they used in 2001, 2, and 3, and they're really, really, really beautiful lights, except that one is having a problem. I think it's a bad part. When I put the brakes on, the light doesn't come on. Uh, when I put it in reverse, the light doesn't come on. When I turn the signal on, that flashes, that flashes, that flashes, and that flickers. And that's not right. So I'm thinking it's just a wiring problem. I'll have to contact Turner and get another part. But they're OEM Hella lights that they would use on a BMW. Uh, but they are retrofitted from Hella to fit this car. I did have to do a little bit of pounding and drilling to make them fit. But that'll all be in an E39 source video. So without further ado, let's cut some grass. All right, it's uh, 9 o'clock and I just mowed and then I trimmed a little bit. Now I'm watering this area here because it's in direct sunlight and needs water and uh, looks good. So, good. Got that done today, I want to do that. And now it's gas time, so uh, I'm gonna head in town, get, uh, I've got about a half tank, but I'd like it full for the weekend. Here's the old lights. Um, let me turn on the garage light here. As you can see they are actually Hella products here for that. They have some other clear ones which look gaudy and the smoked ones which just look terrible too. But there's the old assemblies and bulbs which are all halogen. These are LEDs, at least the, uh, the running lights are. You can 
see the difference here in clarity between the old ones and the new ones. You can just see the difference between when they designed these in 96 and when they designed those in 01. It's just, just a really, really nice upgrade. So I'll turn those on and you can see the four LED bars. All the ones I looked at on eBay, which were a lot cheaper. These are not cheap lights that I got. They're about $650. Um, all of the lights that you can get online that are, you know, the cheap depot lights like those dumb headlights I have on the front. I'm going to have to put OEM ones on there someday. Um, but all of the ones online, which are a lot cheaper because they're not BMW OEM products, um, they only have three LED bars. Well, the real ones have four and these have four. So I'll go find my keys and I'll show you. Yes, how nice does that look? We'll get up close so you can see the actual LEDs. They're much brighter than before. And that's 100% OEM look from the 2003 M5, 01, any of the 2001 later M, well, E39s. E93 M3 convertible from Florida, very nice. Yeah, still looking nice. It is uh, just 915 here, beautiful light in Hudson. And uh, yeah, at least we're under $4. There goes the M3 from uh, the fancy restaurant. What else? Kind of sounds like it could be a manual. So maybe the guy's smart. Looks very nice. Florida plates and all, quad exhaust. Nice wheels. All right, come on, give it. No? Guess not. We got ourselves an Audi A4, and oh my God, look at this charge in the Focus. I guess he's gonna park behind the uh, Passat or Audi A4, S4. Or in front of it, maybe. Hard to tell with his, nope, nope, turned around, didn't even see me. Well, there we go, got the third video um, edited and exporting today from, um, for the E39 source video or channel. Actually, none of these videos are mine, this is all Andrew's that I've been working on. So those will be up, actually two of them are up, that's exporting, I'll be able to get that up tonight or this morning. I'm most productive at this time of the day, it's 1.22 a.m. right now. And I got the yard done today, and I got the uh, thank you things done today, and I watered, actually I started watering at, I don't even remember, probably nine, and I just turned them off. So they went like, holy shit, there's a freaking raccoon in here. You see that? Let's see if we can find it. Is it going to come after me? That would be weird. Let's walk out here to the front. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. It's gotta be behind this bush. I don't know, I'm not gonna follow it. But, um, I watered for a long time. Sprinklers are still out here. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. But uh, you saw the car, that took like three hours today. I wonder what the raccoon was in here looking for. There's nothing to eat in here. There's a wheel, there's some rubber. I hope they don't like rubber. My brake rotors that I showed you, nothing else. Anyways, one of Andrew's video uh, videos that I edited today was of him doing the first wash, wax, and clay bar routine on his 2000 Jet Black M5. And that kind of got me in the mood to do this. I, I've done the basic wax, and remember I did that spring big cleanup about a month or two ago. When I take the wax and get all the shit out of the paint from the winter, all the little rust marks that get in the clear coat, and I did that. But I think it's time for me to wash this thing with dish soap, which takes off all the wax, um, and then kind of start over. My dad gave me the Zeno kit for Christmas, so I have the Zeno, uh, the, all the different clay, the clay bar and the waxes that you want to build it up with. So maybe, uh, maybe in mid-July, early to mid, we'll have to see how that fits in. I'll be able to do this. I mean, it's got a decent coat of wax on it. It's kind of dusty right now, but that would be nice. It would look really nice and shine even more than it does now. And well, that's good. I want to see where that raccoon went. There's not far for it to go. I didn't really hear it. And it's not back there. I just looked, maybe it's under the house there. Or off in the darkness where I don't have a light, so I won't be able to see it. So anyways, that's going to be it for today. Day 550. That's getting kind of crazy. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be busy too. I want to get another yard done and oh, I love this every time I walk into the garage now It looks it just looks five years newer. It's so crisp and clear over the old lights Which are now in the basement. Maybe I'll put them on eBay or something like that But that's it 550 done under the dome. Talk to you guys tomorrow 551. Good night